Genshin Impact, a game that most of you likely have heard by now or even played. In this game, there are around 4 to 5 main ways of roaming around the map. We'll be focusing on the first 3 of these systems. Moving, gliding and swimming. Of course, we'll start with their base, the movement system. Because it is a base, it also means it will take the longest. Now, I planned on splitting the tutorial in one video per system, but as I was writing the first tutorial, I noticed it will take quite longer than I expected. So I made a poll in the community tab and while not by a long shot, most people voted to split it into smaller videos, much like my dialogue system. So I rewrote it to make more sense that way. However, because it was quite close in boats, I attempted to rewrite it in a way that made sense when put together. So whenever I release the last video of the first part, I'll also release one video with all of those videos together as soon as possible, for those that prefer it that way. Of course, because the video will be quite long, it will likely take hours to render it, and will take quite a while to rewatch it as well. So I'll just hope that it renders with no audio artifacts. If there happens to be any, I apologize for it now. Before we head into our tutorial, let's first take a look at what are we going to be using. We'll be using Scene Machine, which is an Unity package that easily allows us to add a camera system with pre-made algorithms. The new input system, also an Unity package, is a new way of creating and reading input. The animator, animator controllers and animations allow us to add animations to our character. We'll be taking a look at reusable substate machines, but won't be taking a look at plant trees. Physics based movement simply means movement using a rigid body. We'll not be using the built in character controller. A floating capsule is a technique that easily allows our player to move up or down slopes as well as steps without any weird jumps or problems. And finally, state machines are an easy way of adding, removing and changing states. In our case, they will be our player states. All of these will be introduced in the base movement system part of the series, which is the main reason why it will take the longest. I'll try to explain as much as I can for what we need, but if you are interested in knowing more about these topics in whatever areas I don't cover, I'll be leaving a few links in the description. Regarding state machines, it is very likely that you'll see different ways of using them throughout other tutorials, so don't worry if mine is somewhat different from theirs as that's normal. If you have already finished the series, if you did enjoy it, leaving a like and subscribing would help me out a lot as it allows me to reach more people. Feel free to also leave any feedback whatsoever so that I can improve my future videos. With that out of the way, I really hope you enjoy this series.